What's up y'all, Alvin here, and today I wanna to talk a little bit about the difference between wade fishing and fishing from a boat. So the pros and cons of wading versus boat fishing. And of course, I'm gonna give you some of my personal thoughts. <laughs> I tell the good jokes. <laughs> All right, so let's get into it. So obviously there are some places where you can't use a boat or some places where it's gonna be impossible to wade fish. So we're not talking about those options so much. <laughs> Just wade fishing versus boat fishing. Let's start first with wade fishing. So what are some of the advantages of wade fishing? I mean, one is just the fact that it's much simpler. You got a lot less gear. You just need some boots, maybe some waders, your fishing gear, and you're good to go. So it's quick and easy. You know, that is definitely a bonus. Uh, you can fish solo, and there's probably a lot more options, you know, places to go because you don't need as much water. You don't need as big of a body of water to wade fish as you do in a boat. And, and when it comes to the actual fishing part of it, if you're wade fishing, you're gonna move slower, you're gonna cover the water better, and a lot of times you will catch more fish just because you're more focused on a smaller piece of water. You're not trying to cover as much water because you just can't, you know? So that's another advantage of wade fishing. You're typically gonna be a little bit more methodical and a little bit more detailed about your fishing and a lot of times as a result you're going to catch more fish <laughs> all right so what are some of the disadvantages of wade fishing well i mean one of the cons is uh you know you got to wear waders if it's cold <laughs> now down here in texas most of the year we can wet wade but waders and wading boots and all that uh, it's just gear and if you're somewhere that the water's cold you're going to have to deal with waders Sometimes waders leak. Sometimes it's just a pain getting in and out of the waders. <laughs> so I personally am not a huge fan of fishing out of waders. Uh, another disadvantage of wade fishing is just the wading part itself. So you may have to traverse some pretty difficult terrain when you're wade fishing. You know, stream beds are known to be slippery, rocky, things like that. So if you're not real sure footed, that can be a disadvantage. Good wading boots, something with either felt or studs or something that will give you better traction will always help. Another thing is a wading staff. So if you're not as sure on your feet as you used to be, definitely get a wading staff, especially if you're fishing places where, like I said, slippery bottom, fast currents, deep water. Be careful out there. There are ways to make it safer, but that is definitely a disadvantage of wade fishing. Another thing is, is that, you know, it is hard to cover a lot of terrain, you know, so you're walking, so, <laughs> you know, you're not gonna be as able to cover as much water as you would if you were in a boat. But all in all, I think wade fishing is an awesome way to fish. It is the way I fished for years and years before I had any type of watercraft, caught tons of fish, and I know people who specialize in only wade fishing, both anglers, guides, you know, it's just, the purest, simplest way to fish, whether you're fly fishing or fishing with conventional tackle. But <laughs> I love boats. I got a lot of boats. I've owned a lot of boats and I need to get rid of some of the boats. But here are some of the advantages of fishing from a boat. Number one is you can take all your gear, you know, so on a typical day, I'll have four to six rods rigged up and ready to go in the boat, got plenty of storage, they're not in the way, and if conditions change and we suddenly need to go from one rod, one setup to another, no problem, just put one rod down, grab the other rod, and you know, that's really nice. Also, you know, coolers, you can bring all the food and drinks you want, extra gear, there's no worry. You know, obviously there is a limit, you can't put everything on the boat, but typically you can take a lot more gear in the boat than you can if you are weight fishing. Weight fishing, you got whatever you can carry on your back. <laughs> Another thing about 
fishing from a boat is that you can cover a lot of water, you know? So if I'm fishing on the coast, on an average day, I'm probably gonna cover, you know, 15, 20, 25, maybe even 30 miles of water. But there have been days where I've covered 70 miles of water, you know, just looking for fish, or maybe I wanna go try some new areas. I could just fire the boat up and run to another spot. And, you know, it's almost limitless. The other thing that's nice about being in a boat is that you can take your friends, you can take your family. <laughs> you know, obviously if you're in a canoe or a kayak, you're only gonna be able to go by yourself. Although if you're in a canoe, you can take another person. Typically most canoes will work for two folks. They work especially well if you have two people who can paddle, you take turns paddling and fishing. So one person paddles while the other person fishes and then vice versa. That's how we did it for years. Caught tons of fish out of the canoe because a canoe is a boat too. <laughs> <laughs> now, what are the cons of fishing out of a boat? Well, obviously the number one thing is the expense. You know, boats are expensive. With the exception of canoes and kayaks, and you can actually sink quite a bit of money into some fancy fishing kayaks nowadays and canoes as well. But typically boats are gonna be a much more expensive way to fish. You know, not only do you have the boat, but you've got the motor, you've got the gas, you've got the trailer, you got the registration, licensing, all that type of stuff. So a boat is always gonna be more expensive than wade fishing. So that is definitely a big con of fishing from the boat. Another thing about fishing from a boat that is a disadvantage is the fact that most of the time you're gonna need two people in the boat, with the exception of kayak fishing. Most other boats, you're gonna have to have at least two people, you know, so you need somebody to drive the boat, and if you're driving the boat, typically it's gonna be harder to fish. Now, you can fish with a trolling motor, and I know lots of people that do it all the time, but me personally, you know, I'm usually either rowing or poling, so somebody's gonna be moving the boat around while the the other folks are fishing. So whether that's rowing or poling, that requires more than one person. And if you want to just get out by yourself and you don't have a boat that's equipped with a trolling motor, it can be kind of difficult. Trust me. <laughs> now, another thing, one of the advantages of, of fishing with a boat is being able to cover lots of water, but that's also a disadvantage because a lot of times, unlike somebody who's wade fishing, you get to a spot and you don't have luck and you think, well, maybe I need to be over there. <laughs> and you fire the boat up and you're motoring and you're motoring and you're going here and you're going there. Whereas a lot of times if you would have just stayed where you were and kind of concentrated and focused on actually making it happen instead of hoping it was happening somewhere else, the whole grass is greener syndrome. You know, you don't have to worry about that so much when you're wading because you can't go 20 miles from where you're wading right now. Not unless you brought a backpack and a sleeping bag. <laughs> Anyway, that is a disadvantage of fishing out of a boat is sometimes wanting to uh, cover as much water as you possibly can instead of focusing on actually trying to catch fish where you are. Now, my thoughts on the whole wading versus boat fishing. I got lots of boats, so most of the time I am fishing out of a boat, whether it's one of my boats or somebody else's boat. But I have to admit, when I am on a stream or on a lake, or on a flat, and I'm walking, it brings back so many fond memories because like I said, that is how I did it for so long, and I realize all those cool things that I'm missing when I'm in the boat. So what I'm gonna say is, you should do both if you can. Obviously, there's circumstances where you can't do one or the other. You know, maybe you can't afford a boat, or none of your friends have boats, or you can't afford to hire a guide to get in a boat, and you gotta wait fish. Well, good for you. Just keep on fishing. <laughs> Maybe one day you'll end up on a boat. You'll be fortunate enough to buy a boat, uh, but you're not missing anything. If you do have a boat or if you do fish on a boat most of the time, you should try just getting off that boat every once in a while. And I think you get a closer connection with where you are, your environment and all that. Obviously there's some places you just can't get out of the boat. If you like deep sea fishing, you're not gonna get out of the boat and deep sea fish. But if you have the option to get out of the boat, I would say get out of the boat every once in a while and do some good old wade fishing. That's my plan. I'm gonna be spending more time out of the boat in the near future. 
All right, as always, I wanna thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Hopefully you got something out of it. Hopefully I'll see you in the next one. And in the meantime, good luck on the water.